This is the role of somebody who implements Dynamics AX and deals with a customer that already has a bunch of assets. Imagine I made one, but you could import all of these using data management. And then you need to say has been acquired. So I'm going to go to the journal entries, but I need to have a journal name to be created. As you notice, there is no journal just yet. I've got to right click, go to the view detail, and I need to go back to general journal names and click a new journal. I use one journal for all. Fixed asset journal. And as a matter of fact, the type is set up to be post fixed assets for any activity, acquisition, depreciation, adjustment, whatever you do. And I actually call this SRHQ and I'm going to pick and choose the general ledger. And I specify the default financial dimensions for it. Remember, the posting layer is current. If there is any problem with fixed asset for the tax layer, I call it fixed asset tax journal. Again, has to be the same type, post fixed asset. But the difference here is you got to change this to apply the correction on the proper layer which is the tax layer. Here I use the same thing, SRHQ, and I call it GL, and I specify a default dimensions. I'm gonna use only one of these, but as you notice, I got two. If I use the fixed asset, it's gonna use the current layer. As you see here on the general ledger, it's gonna use all of those things that you had, that's a post fixed asset current, but if I would have chosen the fixed asset tax for the journal, it's gonna use the tax layer. I just wanted to show you, you could have two different journals, but I'm just gonna use one of them here, which is a fixed asset journal. And I say acquisition number one, which is my demo. I go to the line and let's say I already got my asset. I come here and do the acquisition based on the asset that I've already created. That's just a bucket. That's just a placeholder. Has no value whatsoever. I give it a default value model based on a parameter description. Don't need to have it. I call it acquisition for CNC one. Now, as you notice, if you are going to acquire an asset, has to be debiting your asset. Let's buy this for 150,000 euros. The default offset account has been populated from my posting profile. I'm just going to go about and post this. At this stage, I'm only posting to one value model, which happens to be the CNC value model. Something interesting has happened. If I go back to the fixed asset, now, to begin with, if I go to the value model, the status is open. The transaction has been hit. $150,000 has been acquired. You made a mistake, you can reverse it, no problem. You cannot delete it, you can reverse it. If I go back and take a look at the profile, system tells me how much is going to be depreciated based on every month, based on the depreciation profile, based on this value model. You can estimate how much the network value is going to cost you or is going to worth at this stage next year, let's say. If I close this down, you could also take a look at the balances and it shows you exactly how much is it worth as of today. Netbook value is 150,000 too. You haven't depreciated anything. I close this now. If I go back to my depreciation books, you notice that the statuses of these are also open. Why? Because I said drive the depreciation books right off of my value model. If I did the acquisition, it does the acquisition here for me. However, the profile for this is specific value, which happens to be the bank, is different. As you notice, very nicely, you can tell, you depreciate a lot more at the beginning on the second column. And as you get older, you depreciate less and less. So as you see, this is because of the way the depreciation book has worked. And on this depreciation book, the factor is less than 50. And when the factor is less than 50, this becomes degressive depreciation. So that means you depreciate a lot more at the beginning. And as you move forward, it actually depreciates less. Whereas if I go to the investment and take a look at the profile, it shows that you depreciate a lot less at the beginning. And as you move forward, you depreciate more.